Let's see if we can figure out the limit of x over natural log of x as x approaches one. And like always, pause this video and see if you can figure it out on your own. Well, we know from our limit properties, this is going to be the same thing as the limit as x approaches one of x over, over the limit, the limit as x approaches one of the natural log of x. Now this top limit, the one I have in magenta, this is pretty straightforward. This, if we had the graph of y equals x, uh, that would be continuous everywhere. It's defined for all real numbers and it's continuous at all real numbers. And so if it's continuous, the limit as x approaches one of x is just going to be this evaluated at x equals one. So this is just going to be one. We just put a one in for this x. So the numerator here would just evaluate to a one. And then the denominator, Natural log of x is not defined for all x's, and therefore it isn't continuous everywhere, but it is continuous at x equals one. And since it is continuous at x equals one, then the limit here is just going to be the natural log evaluated at x equals one. So this is just going to be the natural log, the natural log of one, which of course is zero. E to the zero power is one. So this is all going to be equal to this is going to be equal to, if we just evaluate it, one over one over zero. And now we face a bit of a conundrum. One over zero is not defined. If it was zero over zero, we wouldn't necessarily be done yet. That's indeterminate form. As we will learn in the future, there are tools we can apply uh, when we're trying to find limits and we evaluate it like this and we get zero over zero. But one over zero, this is undefined, which tells us that this limit does not exist. So does not exist. And we are done.